Hello everyone, my name is Allison Burton and I'm the programmer for the North Adams Library. Now remember, this summer's theme is Imagine Your Story. So our book for today is There Was an Old Dragon Who Swallowed a Knight, written by Penny Parker Klosterman, illustrated by Ben Mantle, published by Random House, Copyright 2015. There was an old dragon who swallowed a knight. I don't know why he swallowed the knight. It's not polite. There was an old dragon who swallowed a steed that galloped around at a terrible speed. Oh, how the dragon wished it would stop. That clippity, clippity, clippity clop. He swallowed the steed right after the night. I don't know why he swallowed the night. It's not polite. There was an old dragon who swallowed a squire, who hollered, that's hot, when the dragon breathed fire. He swallowed the squire to calm the steed that galloped around at a terrible speed. He swallowed the steed right after the night. I don't know why he swallowed the night. It's not polite. There was an old dragon who swallowed a cook, a savory cook, and his recipe book. He swallowed the cook to fatten the squire. He swallowed the squire to calm the steed that galloped around at a terrible speed. He swallowed the steed right after the night. I don't know why he swallowed the knight. It's not polite. There was an old dragon who swallowed a lady. It seems quite shady he'd swallow a lady. He swallowed the lady to rule the cook. He swallowed the cook to fatten the squire. He swallowed the squire to calm the steed that galloped around at a terrible speed. He swallowed the steed right after the night. I don't know why he swallowed the knight. It's not polite. There was an old dragon who swallowed a castle. Swallowed it down to the last golden tassel. He swallowed the castle to hold the lady. He swallowed the lady to rule the cook. He swallowed the cook to fatten the squire. He swallowed the squire to calm the steed that galloped around at a terrible speed. He swallowed the steed right after the night. I don't know why he swallowed the night. It's not polite. There was an old dragon who swallowed a moat, guzzled and gulped it right down his throat. With all of that water, he started to bloat. And that's when the dragon roared. And I quote, Okay, enough! I've had enough, more than enough, of this swallowing stuff. Maybe I've been a tad impolite. Perchance I should only have swallowed the night. So he burped out the moat that had caused him to bloat. He burped out the castle along with the tassel. He burped out the lady who found that quite shady. He burped out the cook and his recipe book. He burped up the squire, now blackened with fire. Then, with all of the power that he could amass, the dragon burped out one last billow of gas. Burp! And with terrible speed, he burped out the steed. Clippity, 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 clop. Clippity, 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 stop! There was an old dragon who swallowed a knight. Ah, just right. Good night. The end. Now, a crack you can make to go along with this book is A Popsicle Stick Dragon. A song you can listen to is We're Going on a Dragon Hunt. And if you want to read another dragon story, you can check out The Night Dragon by Naomi Howarth which is available using your library card and PIN number from Hoopla Digital. 
Thank you all for watching. Have a great day and stay healthy.